Y'all. Y'all, it's been 24 hours. I did not get blown away in a tornado as I had hoped, alas. So, I uh, just got home from wound care, you know, doing my thing. And I have all these pancake flipping Amazon bags to break down so I can recycle them. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Story time. If you can hear beyond the, the bags. Um, with all this tornado warning stuff yesterday, I was watching Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares when I fell asleep to go to bed. Um, as one does in the bed, going to bed. Uh, and thinking about these tornadoes. So, consequently, I woke up at 3.30 in the morning uh, dreaming that I was with Gordon Ramsay and working in a restaurant somewhere in Edison Park, let's say. It was kind of a nondescript uh, restaurant and some other nondescript people. And we had to keep going downstairs to the basement of this restaurant and uh, and hiding and, and all getting together and, you know, going like that, which is probably my PTSD from the 1976 tornado I lived through in pre-kindergarten. And I think the girl that I uh, reassured and said, you know, it's going to be okay, we're going to be fine, was my friend Lynn Rowler. Okay, so I'm having this dream, and every time I went up the stairs in the dream to go back to the street level or whatever, I'm sorry I'm so snotty, uh, then I would look out the window and another tornado would be coming. And it was blowing like motorcycles into the window of this restaurant where we were at. And it, it, shit was blowing everywhere. Okay, much like my nose. So the shit's flying, shit's hitting the fan. And uh, somehow or another, Things calm down, and I'm sitting around then at this table next to Gordon Ramsay, and then I'm like, I think I feel his hand on my back. Do I feel Gordon Ramsay's hand across my waist? Is he rubbing my back? And at that point, I woke up, and I really had to pee, so I got up and peed. And um, when I fell back asleep, I put another Kitchen Nightmares on because I was having trouble getting back to sleep. And uh, then the dream starts to continue. Holy smokes. It, uh, it got down to me looking out the cityscape, let's call it, of all of the downtown uh all, you know, the whole city, the downtown, the sky, the, the words evading me right now. Um, all the skyscrapers and all that stuff. And looking out at the city and the antennae had blown off the Sears Tower and the antennae had blown off the John Hancock building. And the city was left you know, just like a, like a science fiction movie, you know, that, yeah, I don't know, like Terminator or some other action movie where everywhere is left for hell. Uh, then I do, then I woke up at 5.30 in the morning and I had to pee again, so I did that. And when I went back to sleep, I put on another 
Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares because I was having a kitchen nightmare within the parameters of being at a restaurant with Gordon Ramsay and having a kitchen nightmare at Kitchen Nightmares. I think that was my entire point through the last five minutes and 20 seconds. My entire point was that I was having a Gordon Ramsay kitchen nightmare within a dream of being in a Gordon Ramsay kitchen nightmare. That was my point. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> that, that was too much to type out and far more dramatic than uh, I intended it to be. This is where your Amazon Prime, uh, they, you know, they raise the price for Amazon Prime. This is where it's going to. Making colorful bags for your groceries. They would just stick to their biodegradable bio stuff. We'd all be a lot better off. So that is my story. Uh, it was very long, very drawn out. Um, but uh, I was not watching Dr. Phil when I went to sleep last night, or God knows what might have happened. Uh, but then I watched a very, uh, on my way to wound care, I watched a, like a savage Dr. Phil episode. Dr. Phil was just savage in this this episode today. It was fantastic. So, uh, I hope you have... Does anybody need this corrugated cardboard? No? Okay. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful holiday weekend. Uh, don't burn yourselves down while you're barbecuing. I think I'm going to make tacos. Because uh, the grill isn't even out yet for the year. Uh, maybe the boys can do that this weekend. And I look forward to talking to you all soon. Bye.